I used to wear contact lenses. I remember like after three or four hours, they would just be stinging in my eyes. And I went back to the optometrist who sold them to me and he was like, oh, just keep wearing them. Eventually you'll get used to it. Welcome back. So contact lenses are pretty bad for your eyes. They're pretty bad for your eyes if you wear them consistently and if you wear them over extended periods of time. Not necessarily throughout the day, but if you wear them for years and years and years, all day, every day, they are pretty bad for you. And this is something that the people who sell them to you don't tell you, surprise, surprise. And curiously, a lot of people really trust the people that sell them things with advice about whether it has any negative side effects. And the reality is, I'm, I'm linking a couple of studies below and a bunch of science. We can look up more of the details on this, but the basics is contact lenses sit in the tear fluid layer over your cornea. And that tear fluid layer is pretty complex. It's called the tear fluid lipidome. I'll try to remember to link some stuff on all the things that that does below too. Pretty complex role in the, in the eye biology. Now, Contact lenses are basically just floating in the tear fluid lipidome, floating in that tear fluid layer that's not really intended to carry the additional mass and weight of a contact lens. Now what happens over time is your cornea gets scratched. Corneal abrasion it's called. Uh, you can look it up on Google Scholar. There's a, quite a few studies on this. The results are pretty unequivocal. You wear contact lenses for years and years, you are going to get corneal abrasion because the tear fluid layer isn't really designed to support a foreign object in your eye. So eventually, at some point, you know, the, your eyes get dry and the, the contact lens starts scratching your cornea. The problem is this isn't reversible, right? The cornea doesn't, doesn't resurface itself. So once it's scratched, it's scratched permanently. The second problem, and this is potentially even a bigger issue, is corneal thinning. Your cornea actually gets thinner from prolonged contact lens wear. Also unchangeable. And your cornea is the front part of your eyeball. Like you can't be without it. And it getting thinner over time because you're wearing contact lenses is a really bad thing. Again, there's a fair bit of science on this. This video is really just to get you started in the direction. If you are wearing contact lenses, from the moment you wake up in the morning to the moment you go to bed at night every day, especially sitting in front of a computer, you want to look into the science and you don't want to just like look on Google because most of stuff there is just mindless propaganda. You want to go to Google Scholar because that's all just clinical research and clinical science. You're getting no fluff there. You're getting actual studies on what happens with prolonged contact lens wear. So go to Google Scholar, look that stuff up. If you want, get started with some links I put in the description box below. Careful about contact lens wear. Now, because this is a channel about vision improvement and because a ton of my students use contact lenses, there are times where you should or shouldn't wear contact lenses. So let's cover that. First, when should you not wear contact lenses? You should definitely not wear contact lenses if you have dry eyes. Dry eyes and contact lenses, remember the corneal abrasion, a very bad idea. So if your eyes are remotely dry, if you wake up with dry eyes, if you feel that your eyes are dry, you can get a test at the optometrist, which will tell you if your eyes are too dry. I don't fully trust the test as far as your eyes are fine is concerned, but it'll definitely tell you if your eyes are too dry. Should not wear contact lenses, absolutely not wear contact lenses because there's just not enough tear fluid layer for it to move, the lens to move smoothly. You're gonna get more corneal abrasion. Again, this is irreversible. This is in front of your eyes, like your vision will never be clear again if you let this go on. So don't wear contact lenses if you have dry eyes. Second, don't wear contact lenses during close-up. Close-up what happens when you're staring at a screen, uh, your blink rate is reduced. And the blink rate is what refreshes to a large degree the tear fluid layer in your eye. So you need to blink your blink rate is reduced by up to five times. So instead of blinking 10 times as you normally would when you're in a natural environment, 
you might only blink twice when you're staring at a computer screen. So tear fluid layer is compromised, right? You do not want to be wearing contact lenses when you're already compromising your tear fluid layer by a reduced blink rate. So during close up, if you're going to stare at a computer for five hours, what do you need contact lenses for, right? Don't stick stuff in your eyes when you don't need to. Remember, these things are short-term fixes. These things are, will work, but you're paying a price. There is no free ride when it comes to any of these intervention in natural biology. Not to sound like a freaking hippie, but it's true. So close-up is not, extended close-up is not the time to wear contact lenses. When do you wear contact lenses? If you have enough tear fluid to support contact lenses and you're outdoors in particular, you're doing outdoor sports, you're in scenarios where you benefit from your peripheral vision, where you benefit from not having some object in front of your face, glasses, contact lenses are great, right? Enough tear fluid and you're actually using them for a reason, contact lenses are perfectly fine. Also contact lenses are fine if you're working on improving your eyesight, especially initially, and again, you have enough tear fluid layer, you got them measured correctly, right? Like all the things that you should be doing anyway. But then in the beginning, your myopia tends to reduce a lot. Like when I started out with minus five diopters, it was a different story because I went straight to minus three like an idiot. But a lot of students have as much as a diopter of improvement in the first 90 days. So especially if you have high myopia in those cases, it may make sense to use contact lenses because they're cheaper, right? So if you're going through a lot of redu reductions, especially for distance vision, it might just be cheaper to get contact lenses instead of getting high index glasses. Again, in particular, if you have high myopia and you otherwise tolerate contact lenses as well, great idea. Contact lens is also great when you're, when you're practicing actively being aware of your peripheral vision, which you can't as well with glasses. And we talk about a fair amount in Back to 2020. We talk about in the blog to some extent, peripheral vision is extremely important to your eyesight. If you're working on reducing myopia, working on improving your eyesight, you want to focus on your peripheral vision, contact lenses are also great for that. So in those scenarios where either you're going through a lot of reductions over a relatively short period of time, or you're actively using the benefit of contact lenses by being outdoors, using your peripheral vision or participating in some sport, contact lens use is fine. I would say only use them when you directly benefit from them. And of course there are exceptions here. There are plenty of cases that can't you wear contact lenses or wear contact lenses for other reasons, medical or whatever. I can't comment on those. These are just the common scenarios that should help you out. And that's it. If you like this video and it's slightly better video and audio, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want all the updates and I'll see you in the next one. And this is me, this is me being stupid. I have this motorbike and then I have another motorbike in this particular city. So when I'm here, this is specifically to work on distance vision, which you always have to, instead of you know working from home or hotel or someplace nearby, I make a point of having a coffee shop that's kind of across town. And in this city, it'd be really easy to take the subway because it goes from everywhere to everywhere. There's a stop right outside my door, there's a stop right outside the coffee shop, but the point is riding the motorbike forces me to use my distance vision very actively. So I've got two in this town. Actually, in a fair amount of places that I spend more time in, I have a motorbike specifically, so I get myself out there and move around and look at stuff. And I'm not saying you should do this. I'm just showing you what I'm doing and, and maybe inspire you to think of ways to increase your net distance vision time. Because this is like, you know, this adds 20, 30 minutes one way, and I ride it at least three, four, five times a day. So that adds up, right? It, it takes away from time I would potentially look at a screen 
standing in the subway, you'd be tempted to look at a screen and the little bits, like, and then I go for a walk and then I have to meet up with friends sometimes and all these things that get you away from, from watching YouTube videos too much or playing on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, it's the little things, right? Like you don't need to make one huge change in life. Just start adding little tweaks thinking about will this increase my distance vision time will this get me away from a screen right because so much of myopia is screen addiction you're addicted to the screen and so much of myopia reduction is also fighting that addiction right it's finding things that are not mindless content consumption to get you to use your distance vision to to increase your well-being to increase your having active experiences in life that's where it's at. So, so as you're working on improving eyesight, you're also working on improving your experience with life and not just passively consuming content. So that's it. Hope you're having an awesome day. I'll see you in the next one. Even this scene so smoky. I got bad bitches. I ain't lonely. Fuck your girl. Then I put you to the homies. No, in my nose like I'm Tony. I be with the homies. Every day I'm stunting like Kobe. Get it? The flippin' dope.